I have been lucky to experience the acoustic energy speaker lineup starting from the humbly priced AE100 Mark IIs to the 500 series. But there is now a flagship model that announces Acoustic Energy's entrance into the high-end market. Their website says, I quote, The Corinium, born from our desire to establish new standards in sound design and value. I love it that they always pay attention to value. Thanks to No Noise Hi-Fi, I have now spent over a week with the new Corinium's. But will they delight the picky audiophile at their premium asking price? The Corinium's cost 7500 USD for a pair, beautifully finished in matte white, black, tectona wood, and this British racing green finish. The paint job has a deep luster and a very premium feel. The tweeter is made of a material called Teterone, which is lighter than carbon fiber. Um, same mass as silk, but much stiffer than silk. Uh, maintaining form during excursion in order to produce transient speeds in the delicate highs with more realism. The mid and the base drivers are carbon fiber like the 500 series, but the base units are slightly larger. Uh, they are about five and a half inches in diameter. The cabinets are quite heavy and roughly 90 pounds each. They are curved like a uh, boat when viewed from the top and of varying thickness ranging from 0.9 inches to 2 inches thick. The front baffle is actually made up of two materials, a 1 inch thick MDF panel to which is bolted a 6 mm aluminum plate for rigidity with only the tweeter mounted directly to the aluminum plate for some isolation from the effects of the other drivers and the MDF cabinet itself. The speaker has a rear slotted port and the outriggers give it a four degree tilt upwards to enable the time alignment of the drivers. It's about 43 inches tall, uh, but in my opinion, very manageable in footprint and is quite pleasing to the eye. Frequency range is an impressive 32 Hertz at minus six dB up to 30 kilohertz. This is a four ohm speaker and sensitivity published at a healthy 92 decibels. Okay, sound quality time. The amplifiers I used were the Audio Research VSI 60, which is a 50 watt per channel tube integrated, a Peach Street 220 Class D that outputs 400 watts per channel, and the Parasound 821 Class AB, which delivers 400 watts at 4 ohms, but more importantly, the first 10 watts in Class A. And no subwoofers were used to augment the base. The Coriniums were placed in my large 1100 square feet basement listening room. The speakers were placed about four feet from the front wall, nine feet apart, and about 11 feet from my listening chair. The room has some acoustic treatment as well. The first impression was how natural cymbals and percussion work sounded. I was startled by the realism from the tone and the impact. Also, I was immediately struck at the speed and impact of the bass frequencies. I let the Corinium play continuously for a day or so, and the mid-range impressed me equally well. It was fleshed out with incredible detail and nuance. The highs, the mids, the lows were all presented very cohesively, all in the context of the whole picture, so to speak. And here come my album examples. This album by Barney Kessel called Just Friends is a great album to showcase a live performance recording. The first track is called Just Friends. The guitar sounds so energetic with very detailed, crisp textures of that electroacoustic guitar coming through effortlessly. The drum solos are exceptional, well recorded in this album and they explode into the room with so much power and detail. Listening to this album via the Corinium's 
is so addictive. This next album is called Emergency by Akira Ishikawa and the Count Buffaloes. Track two on side A is called Right as Rain. This is a beautiful remake of Bob James's original. There are some very thick bass lines happening in the track and through some large speakers, they can sometimes overpower the room if the speakers are not placed properly. Some speakers give you all that bass energy at the expense of definition. Not so with the Corinium's. Best of both worlds can be had here. Bass that pressurizes your room, bass that you can feel and hear all the detail of the finely laid textures in the mix as well. You can feel and hear the bass guitar's tone details in a chiseled manner, separate yet timed with the impact of the bass drum perfectly well. Track three is one of my favorite drum solos of all time. The snare, kick drum impact, and the cymbal crashes have this texture and decay being reproduced so realistically via the corineums. Side two in this album has tracks with superbly recorded female vocals. With the corineum playing these tracks, the vocals were extremely transparent and in the room, very intimate sounding. It just doesn't seem loud as you turn up the volume. Just bigger images, vocals are more in the room, and clearer instrument textures. But bringing in my decibel meter, I'm, I was registering over 100 decibel readings. Yes, that is very loud, but the speakers are incredibly composed and nuanced. Solo piano works are incredibly hard to reproduce in an engaging manner to deliver the dynamics, the sustains, and the decays of the grand instrument. This album is called Nojima Plays Lits. And this is a reference master series recording, and it is a must demo LP for me to see if the loudspeaker can keep me engaged throughout the album. I spent over an hour listening to this beautiful masterpiece. Besides just the melody of the music itself, the Corinium's gave me this immersive experience of having a grand piano performance in my listening room. Yes, the Corinium's sound incredibly lifelike at loud volumes, but most of my listening is done at much lower levels, so as to not disturb my family at night. I'd say about 50 to 60 decibels. The Corinium's managed to bring out all the detail in a recording, sound full and fleshed out, even in the bass frequencies at these low listening levels. You will need to power them though with high current and high quality amplification. The ProAC D20Rs can be compared price-wise to the Corinium's. Which is better is entirely up to what you prefer. And it can be a very tough choice to pick between the two. In my opinion, you couldn't go wrong with either speaker. Both speakers offer incredibly lifelike detail at both high and low listening levels. I personally like the Corinium's a bit more because of the dynamics and the sheer realism they offer when playing back music at very loud listening levels. If you are looking for speakers in this price range, or maybe even under 10,000 USD, and you want to experience the dynamics, the power of live music, with all the resolution the best recordings have to offer, then you should seriously consider the Corinium's. Thanks to No Noise Hi-Fi for letting me borrow the Corinium's for over a week. If you are in Michigan or Ohio, visit them to audition these speakers. No Noise are located at 4470 Monroe Street in Toledo, Ohio. Also, please watch my videos on the other acoustic energy models. More videos coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye for now and take care.